Welcome back to Banishers. We're going to return to Ceridian's Island. I've kind of decided I'm going to stick to the main story going forward. Just to uh, finish the game off because uh, I've kind of been pretty slow moving with this game. And, oh, that's weird. It just like teleported me here. Usually you have to choose like quick travel. Okay. Can you feel it? I have goosebumps. The veil is tearing at the seam. I, yeah, I've been at this game for a while. And I'd like to. I like to see how it finishes off. If I bruise the bud so the specters inside show themselves, you could shoot them. Once freed, the ivy should quickly wither. Uh, they're doing a little uh, tutorial thing. Tammy and snare the core of of a creeping ivy to restrain it. So force the wisps hidden inside its buds to reveal themselves for a short period of time. Red may destroy all the wisps before the core is released in order to get rid of the creeping ivy. Send them. to shoot them? Where can I attack? Oh, you can attack too. But you never know, I might want to go back and do some uh, combat challenges or go back to get some some other things as we go. In combat, Antea can temporarily ensnare her foes in an ethereal web. Hold left trigger to charge and aim and snare projectile. Okay. We're gonna have to learn to use that. We can get to that ivy from the other side. The wards have weakened. Oh. Ceridian's power wanes. That's not a good sign. The ivy was over here, I think. Grief and rancor. Um, I'm also looking to uh, focus on Dragon's Dogma 2 when it comes out later this week. Kind of similar games. Action-adventure RPG. So that's why I'd like to stick to the main story. This, to get it done. Not that I'm not enjoying this, but I think I'm going to enjoy Dragon's Dogma 2 even more. I think you guys might also. I think I'll jump over here. Nobody's home. I can feel it. And the main story is the best part about this game. And the um, hauntings. Who there? Where could they be? Oh, maybe you have to go through here? What am I missing? Like it should be related to that, but maybe we have to just leave. I don't see anything to interact with. Huh. Oh, there's another creeping ivy over there. Wait, where is that? I'm lost already. Okay, so it's like ahead of us. Over there. I'm trying to follow the uh, the markers, but crows. They flock to that great tree up there. Oh right, we were over here before. You guys remember this spot? 
I was wondering what was going on here. Ah, okay. They're just not, not in their house. The banishers are here. Already? How unfortunate. You called us. Did I? I thought I had more time. In the end, it runs out for all of us. Time. It's all about time and energy. At least for me. As I depart this old carcass, I leave no burning heart behind. That's not a good sign. Go or stay. To prevail, you must first set your heart at peace. When at last you face the nightmare, you must both be clear on what you want. You must. What do you mean? It is not for me to give you answers, only to prepare you for what awaits. Then we can all go to sleep. Seeker doesn't hate you, Rory. She's just not used to being trusted. Protect her. For me. Here we go. I was like, something's coming. Oh, is it that, uh, the guy that we fought before? Too late, old moss head, as ever. Okay, that's kind of freaky. Right. I mean, I don't know who that is, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's a good guy. And uh, the barrier's probably down now, right? Or weakened. All solved. Oh, what a dodge. Not so good that time. Okay, switch. Yes. Oh, damn. Soldiers, bring me her hand. Okay, so you're summoning more guys. Gotcha. Oh, shit. Oh, I love that it's zooming out more. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'm not going in there, that's for sure. You're done. Oh, she's protected. Okay, he's free of his body now. It's time for time for Red to do do this thing. Can I still shoot him? No. I got it.
This is time for a huge... Boom! That felt good. Oh man, this gun is so good. Behind. Oh, now he's in his body again. Ow. Banish him! Oh, that was big. That was a huge attack. Okay, we definitely want to do an explosion again. That's so powerful. Careful! Piss off! Oh god. Let's trap him. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Shoot him. Ow. Behind. Okay, there's another explosion time. Get away from him. Watch it. Ow! Holy shit! What? Oh, you gotta be careful. If you're not if you're not careful, you just get destroyed in this game. Wow, I thought I was gonna get it first try, but I bet you there's like a second phase or something. Oh man, I'm all the way back at the beginning. I was trying to heal, I just uh, interrupted. Okay, well, we know what to do. Don't shoot him, first of all. Do I get spirit points for shooting? No, I don't. It's gotta be melee attacks. Right, this on for size. You're supposed to move forward into my attack, man. You're done. Supposed to move forward into my attacks. Not run away. Oh shit! Oh god! Can I join in too? Okay, banish. Banish time! Okay, if I stand here, I don't think they can hit me. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So I want to kill these guys with red like this. So that I get my spirit gauge back up. So I can take down Al Sal. Al Sol? Okay, not this time though. Oh, yeah, yeah, now he's in physical form.
Ow. Ariadne's thread and ethereal haste. A victory achieved! Should have done it the first try. I mean, I did do it the first try. Old Mosshead is no more. I'll never drink from your skull now, will they? Another ancient promise broken. Is she tied to the tree? Huh. Oh God. Ah. Uh. Me. How do I live now? I think you're meant to take her place and, all I'll ever have. and find a new <laughs> pupil to teach the ways. You'll find purpose in that. Can I set the world on fire now? I just want to see it burn. A pity. Farewell, then. <laughs> Nice. I feel like we didn't really get to know Ceridian well enough, though. took me in when my father when no one else wanted me she taught me to stand up straight leave her be for now. Man, this is just like sadness after sadness. Let's check out the, the equipment that we got to boost our mood here. Damage taken. No, no that's not it. It's this one. Or yeah, I need to start. Oh, okay. So is it the newest one is at the end, I guess. Old Moth said, defeat Al Sal. Banish damage 235. Right now we've got 310, but that's uh, one level higher. Vanish point gained 4. Wrath 11, persistence 40. Manifestations cooldowns are decreased by 30%, but manifestation damage decreased by 25%. Okay. The manifestations are seem pretty powerful to me. That's that's definitely an option. And then we got, uh, it was like a speed. Ethereal haste. So health recovery 120, spirit recovery 170. It's kind of the opposite. Of that. Damage dealt by Red and Antea is increased by 50% when all manifestations are on cooldown. Huh. Right now we have damage taken is reduced by 20%, but spirit point gains are reduced by 40%. 
It's the same level as that, but we can actually upgrade this. That's three manifestations, and the charging one is just seems like it's always off cooldown, so I don't know how good that is. Think about it. We're gonna let her grieve. Rest at island shelter. I am tired of all this death. Want to talk about it? I will do. I... Well, there's gonna be more death, I think. Where is this, uh. Can't go up there. I'm trying to find the other ramble thing. Below me, though. It's like at this level. Don't have the required manifestation for that either. Creeping Ivy Blocker gets to that. I think it's back the way we were. It's going around in circles now, so confused. Is it? Ah, uh, there it is. Oh, there's things over here too you know, that I miss. The heart's yours. The roots are mine. Ah, okay, okay. Do I have to get the heart again? Oh, and you have to get them all, so it's, it's a challenge. Okay. Shit. I tried to switch. Man, sometimes the, the controls are not very responsive in this game. Okay, I hit Y. Oh, it switches automatically. Okay. Quite. There we go. Hey, I'm enjoying the target practice. Like you need it. So does that open up that way? Looks like it. How do? Oh yeah, uh, I can get down to that from over here. This is where we went first. We're supposed to first go into the void. And then we go under here. Okay. And this takes us to one of those uh, things that gives us attributes. Or look like it did. Ten spirit points. Alter the invisible. Oh, I thought you'd put a rope down there. Oh well. 
Okay, back to uh, the sh shelter. There's another creeping ivy. Let's see where this... I don't know. Oh, there's one over there, maybe? So one over there. And then it's, like, over here. So maybe we should hit that from this direction. There it is. Oh, this is going to be very tricky. Is there a third one? Oh. Hold on. I keep I keep trying to switch. Oh, that gives you a lot of time. So they're not always, it's not always the same at a time. Picked and culled. Breach Ivy. Translucent fiber and witch stone. <sighs> I missed this before. Strange times to come, or maybe maybe we actually didn't go this way before. One day to come soon enough. I'll order you to find a man unconscious by the shore. I already asked. I may again. These will be strange times, my dearest, so you must be ready. Times of sadness and mourning. To the courses of weird suns and moons in the sky. Frozen days in the eerie and cold air of a long-lasting winter. Repetitions of events you already lived. Unpleasant feeling of suspended time. Endless days and weeks. I would not dare to claim I fully know how or why this will happen. There are so many mysteries which elude me. The better good, I suppose. When these times will come, be ready again. For the unbalance will be so strong, even the dead may come back from a future you already faced. And it will be our task to restore the balance again. But that was on this corpse. We're getting timey wimey and spacey wacy. Yeah, I did. I did come through here before. Okay. I thought that's where we went into that central area. What will become of Seiko now? She'll try to make sense of her pain, or perhaps she'll sit with it a while. I shall try to kill it. Grief knows no rule book. When I returned from the war, I walked the wet streets of London for a long time. All I could feel was my heart digging a hole deep inside my chest. After what I had seen, what I had done, I just wanted the pain to stop. I wanted oblivion. You were at your lowest. We all lived through our own rock bottoms. Oh, I feel that. You pulled yourself through. I drowned myself in ale. You're the one who pulled me out. Poetic, if melancholic. What's going on, Red? I feel lost. I can't even stand myself. I can barely stand it. Look at you. Something eats me from within. And it's growing. I don't know what's happening. I'm scared. I scare me too. I am untethered from the world. 
but through you I still feel like myself. I cling to this. The closer we get to my return, the further from life I feel. I care nothing for the living. I only care for what I can take from them. Hmm. Do you feel that way about me too? No, of course not. What are we doing? We're reclaiming our world. The only way we can. Are you sure? This is what you want? We made an agreement. Are you having second thoughts? I don't know. Maybe. Ceridian's death has changed things for you. Yeah. She had power. Purpose. She had love and she still chose to leave. Maybe she's right. Should we reconsider? It may not be too late to change our minds. But you must promise me, Red, whatever we decide, we stick to it. We cannot change our minds again. I swear it, my love. This is it. So you can, you can change your mind. Guys, I'm sticking with it. Red swears he will help Antea come back to life. Once they retrieve her body from New Eden's meeting house. Keep this oath, Red will have to sacrifice as many settlers as possible with a blame ritual. After what we've done, I mean, is this you gotta keep going. I want this. I want this, only real. I want to be with you in the flesh. Our minds are set. We're going back. Thank you. Thank me when you're back. <laughs> that look on his face, he's like, I don't know if we're doing the right thing. <laughs> oh, man. Brutal. Not a lot of games put you in this position. Back by the banishers, Helen Priest dethroned Captain Pennington. So we're on to the, like, kind of the third big part of the game. Feels Dark like. truths were unearthed. Some secrets remain buried. The survivors must now set aside old sins and build themselves lives worth living. But can Helen Priest lead them into the future, chained as she is to her past? Reaffirm your oath. The final promise. That's nice, though. It's that you can change your mind because, uh, you know, that life changes over time. And they did it. They decided kind of together. New haunting cases have manifested in New Eden. Once you leave the shelter, open your map to view their location. Uh, okay, so where? Ah, here we go. I do want to do these these new um, these new ones. Because they're fun. Let's go. Let's go back to the hunter's camp and see what haunting awaits us. Main story and hauntings. That's that's my plan. You know I'm not going to stick to it though. <laughs> Those of you that have watched me for a while know that I I always get interested by something or some challenge or whatever. Haunted house. Shall we? It's her. I thought there might be a haunting with her. We're closed. Jane. Banisher. Is this your store? Yes, it is. Now that Squire Paris has walked on. Ah. I take it he hasn't just gone for a stroll. Can I ask what happened? He died. I was out hunting, and when I came back, his spirit had gone. 
It was wrong to leave him to die alone. His ghost now haunts you. But you know that, right? Leave his spirit alone, Banisher. It's no small thing to be haunted. It's no small thing to be dead. The Squire has always protected me. That's more than I can say for most people. Now I'll do the same for him. Dear Jane, too kind. Paris, I presume. You presume correct. Squire Sincere Paris. Sincere Paris. What's left of him? Wow. I'm a banisher, you know. I could help you, both of you. That's what I do. I don't know. This is new to me. Jane stands by me, though I'm dead. A oh, remarkable woman. You've only ever stood by me. Now, Banisher, we have work to do, as I'm sure do you, elsewhere. Uh, you know, one way to not have to worry about doing any more banishing is to just uh, blame everyone in the world. And uh, there's no more people <laughs> to be haunted. I don't know if I read this before. Letter diagnosis from Dr. Ireton, Boston, 27th, June, 1692. Paris, my dear friend, after our numerous and assiduous examinations, I cannot conceal the unfortunate truth. Your health fades inexorably. I don't say that word very often. I was like, hold on. I fear your days of bold mercantile expedition are over. You must work less and work lighter. Knowing your tenacity, I must insist for your own good. Adjourn all voyages, and if you must travel, preserve yourself. Do not travel far without resting, and never travel alone. If you follow my advice, your chest pain and short breath may find remission. If you do not, you risk a quick aggravation, especially if vexed by life's annoyances. Time to put your feet up, my dear friend. You've earned it. Dr. Virtue Ireton, fellow of the Royal College of Physicians. Virtue Ireton. Damn. I want to live in this time period just for the names. That's about the only thing I like about it, though. And the abacus size. Abacus size. Is a abacus a plural? A word, if I may. We must talk. I think he means you. Wonderful. Go on, then. One goes to another. Your rigging says you are, or were, a banisher. Correct? Correct. I'm Antea Duarte, and this is Red McRaith. What can we do for you? As I'm sure you're aware, someone, someone, has made a mistake. <laughs> Several mistakes, in fact. Oh, I... Yes. I'm not supposed to be dead, and even if I were, I shouldn't be here talking to you. I seem to be haunting Jane. I'd like to employ you to do whatever it is you do, and send me on my way. How did you die? My heart gave up on me. I felt a terrible pain in my chest. My head spun, the world tilted, then it all slowly faded away to nothing. My heart gave up, and who could blame it? Poor me. I died alone. But I died with dignity. At least there's that. Had someone been there, they likely couldn't have helped. True. Still, some company would have been nice. Are you in love with her? You must be joking. Love undeclared is a common reason for a ghost to linger. I am not a man of undeclared emotion, Mr. McRaith. Do you have any unfinished business that could be keeping you here? Business was my trade. <laughs> trade was my business, but I'm not here because of unsold stock. I must be here for Jane. She is, was, my bodyguard. The contract was informal, but we obeyed it to the letter. For my part, for years I helped to track a group of mercenaries known as the Hummingbirds. Go on. I'd rather not. Jane's proudly pinnacle, and the story is her own. She'd tell it to you before she tells your man. She doesn't much trust white men. I'm shocked. Keep talking. Before we left New Eden Town, Jane had a secret. 
She was working on a map. I suspect she was up to something dangerous. Unfinished business. I'd like to see that map. If you look behind me, you'll find her quarters. Be discreet. I've betrayed her trust enough. Okay, let's check this out. There is that box behind Jane, too. Ah. Pyrite. Paris is hiding something. Check the register in the safe. Key. Yeah. Jane doesn't trust her boss. We should poke through the squire's books. Paris. I hear there is game to be had in the Indian Summer Grove near Thickskin's camp. I hear further that your Indian Huntress is making good use of it. I wish to do the same. My map shows an old hunting tower that would well suit my purpose. Oblige me with passage that your native girl may leave me be. And I shall be grateful, Teddy Shepherd. Shepherd, if I catch sight or smell of you trespassing on my hunting grounds, I shall go to war. Jane. Well, that's a clear answer. defensive about that particular patch of forest. Like you with the blanket when the night is cold. Jane's private journal. Those who... So why are the corners cut off? Do you guys know that? What? Is there something about the paper making process in that time period? Uh, those not ill reacted fast. For we knew the sound of war, but we were too few. My father's face was red and scabbed, and he could not rise to face them. The hummingbirds flapped their wings and burned the tents with our elders inside. My father was among them. Most were too sick to fight. Some ran, I fought. In the end, I was forced to yield. I counted the blades of grass as they put the chains upon me. I stink still of ash and gunpowder. I stink so long the stink is mine. Okay. How do you rebuild a life after Capture such her. horror? By taking revenge, it would seem. I wonder about the epidemic. Was it a local disease or something else? Father was sick, couldn't help her. Okay, she's over there, so we need to get the key from the cash register. Oh. What am I talking about? There's. We're not opening that without a key. Shouldn't be hard to find. Uh, is this? Oh, is this? Oh, 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 oh. No one heard that. Ah, what are I talking about? There's no cash registers back then. I don't know what. I wouldn't have kept a key here. You yeah, probably would. Finally, four silver key. I thought they said something about a cash register, though. Oh, safe. Sorry, safe. My bad. There. The Squire's archives. Certificate of in indentured servitude. I ordered the right worshipful mayor Fiddle, Mar Fiddle Marbury. It is hereby certified that the Indian slave named Jane, having ability sufficient to provide for herself, shall be indentured to Squire Sincere Paris for seven years until she becomes a free subject. We have granted this certificate this 12th day of December in the year of our Lord 1690. This tie is doused with the essence of its ghost. Once a closure has severed the ghost's bond to the world, this essence will be automatically consumed by Antea to make her stronger. Okay. Squire Paris bought Jane's freedom, then hired her as his bodyguard. That was generous of him. This contract is the ghost tie. So she was never let free. That's probably why. Oh, is there more? I guess I missed something. Ah, okay, there is more. I thought I had to go talk to them. 1690, this is Squire Paris's register. May 27th, acquired 24 bushels corn from the Penacook. 20, June 28th, sold 12 bushels corn in New Eden. July 21st, acquired 210 blankets from F. Bolverger. 
July 27th sold 210 blankets to the Penacooks. Oh, that's Paris the had source. traded with the Penacook, Jane's people. Uh. He knew she had nowhere else to go. Did he wish to help, or did he wish to profit? Right. We should talk to the squire. This is like everything is just in this one area. This is moving really fast. Yes. You traded with the Penacook, Jane's people. As I traded with many of the tribes. How do you think I met Jane? Does she know you traded with her people? She does not, and I like it that way. Best not to wake the sleeping dog. Soon I shall be gone, and all this shall be history. Unwritten and forgotten. So he was responsible for the sickness. You took her into your empire. Maybe by accident. Why? Jane was to be sold, sent overseas as a slave. It pulled my heart. I could not allow it. So I bought her at auction and gave her her freedom. The irresistible river of commerce could, I thought, flow on without her. Oh my god, how am I going to justify this freaking blame? Hummingbird mercenaries massacred Jane's people. She likely seeks revenge. Ah, right. You don't seem surprised. Why do you think we came to a backwater like New Eden? She knew the hummingbirds had been here. I wonder if it's this that's keeping you here. Yes, of course. It must be. Right. That's her. Can I go now? Jane wants revenge on the mercenaries who killed her people. Maybe that's why you're still here. Give us something to work with, Paris. Or that. Ah, uh, Jane had a cache of weapons in the wood. The fiery grove, as she described it. I presume it to mean that the trees there are autumn red. Arms in the woods, red leaf trees. Noted. We'll take our leave, Squire Paris. I'll set up shop by my graveside. You'll find me there. Like. I don't. Jane has done nothing wrong here. Poison, capable, careful, and deliberate. This young Native American is fiercely independent. Her trust is hard earned. Their loyalty to those she considers friends seems unshakable. Seems unshakable. Hmm. Okay. Lost and filled with self pity, this ghost is used to giving orders. With no idea why his spirit lingers, all he wants to do is move on whatever lies beyond. Let's trade it with Jane's tribe. Let's find this fiery grove. This sounds like a banish. She means to kill the hummingbirds. Hell of a mission for one person alone. Sincere's attitude is definitely strange. And not only for his constant whining. Okay. Uh, I guess we might be able to fast travel to a closer spot. Right here. And there's also another haunting there. Well, let's complete one at a time. I don't want to overload with too much stuff. Yeah, that's where we're going. Ah, okay. That rock, a letter from the dead, perhaps. What? Oh. Okay, so that other hunting case has already started. The what result the? going oh. here. Ho oh, there! Would you happen to know why the bridge is up? 
Sir? Murdered. Career murdered. Could people not stop murdering each other for one bloody minute? <laughs> and put us out of work? They must welcome the change at this point. Come on. The body would have floated downstream. Okay. Oh, freak. One more probably down here, eh? Yeah, okay. Did I ever mention how good we are together? Yeah. So we to hear. <laughs> we just <laughs> get crushed into fiery grove. Let's search around. Bye, sir. Uh, fiery Grove, eh? That could be it there. Certainly looks fiery. Let's follow this one first. Wait, is this this is the this is Jane's, right? Haunting a uh, haunting tower, yeah. A uh, hunting tower, sorry. There you go. This must be Jane's watchtower. Hi. I have another in sight. Reloaded. Maybe I didn't set that one. That skill. Oh, that's cool. Peaceful. No wonder she kept it to herself. A haven where one can mourn and scheme. Well, I want to. One day you shall have it, and we can scheme in it together. Well, she does want to murder a bunch of people. That could be a reason to blame her, right? She's an artist. That makes her doubly dangerous. Yeah, artists are very dangerous. <laughs> she <laughs> suffers alone. Reminds me of me, Bonadai. Hmm. She glories in the killing. You are not the same. Uh huh. Yeah. Glories in the killing, guys. And here's the cash. There's enough powder and shot here to bring down an elephant. 
Or a flock of hummingbirds, perhaps. Revenge is not... Um... Not a good motive to live by. Jane tracked the mercenaries to the swamps. Okay, I need to find something else here. hear it. Where is it? Ah, there's this too. Um, what did I miss? Did I miss something else up top? Go back. Oh, this. A set of bloody silver rings, each engraved with the symbol of a hummingbird collected by Jane. Okay, that's pretty dark. With the help of Squire Sincere Paris. More Spectre mess for us to clean up. Let's go do a little scouting. Speed. There it is. I see it. Can I shoot it through here, though? No. That's a hitbox, even though it's not showing it. Yes! Alright. I was wrong. I mean, guys, that's pretty cold-blooded. No? I'm supposed to swap. <laughs> it's so funny. I was doing it automatically before, and now that I actually have that skill equipped, I keep forgetting about it. I'm getting really good at the combat, though. Also, well, yeah, even those guys were um, higher level, right? But I am pretty decked out. Looks like it's up here. Wait. Oh, how far is it? Wait, what? Oh, I have this highlighted. Wait a second. Is this where I need to go? No, 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 no. It's here. Mercenary camp. Ah, okay, okay. That's actually good. You want to go to the cave or to the uh, camp. go to the swamp. Ah, over here. Oh, right, the fort. 